All right, and we're back. Okay. Let me just remove the evidence in which this is being emulated. Uh oh, look at this criminal. I'm gonna put it off screen. I still don't know if it's visible in the in the in like the um, the recording footage. Oh, it's this guy. Strange. I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? It is rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Yes, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. Man, this dialogue is awesome. People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? Yeah, the dude could be like a, you know, not cool. I'm going to put it like that. <laughs> I can't say some of the some of these words because YouTube will just like immediately flag me. No, I have amnesia. I'm told that I was in an accident in 1999. Oh, Y2K happened, huh? When I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name in my past. Like, sir, good for you. Like, I don't care. I don't know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J, why have you come to... I don't... Ah, blah, blah, I don't care. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> the dancing hall. All right. Man, I hope that, like, the dialogue in these games got better with time. Because I know that, like, there's some Nintendo DS games. I know there's also three, at least three, Castlevania games for the Nintendo DS. I know there's Dawn of Sorrow, which is a, dele uh, a delect, direct sequel to Area of Sorrow. And uh, there's Portrait of Ruin. Which you get, you go into portraits, portraits, and um, oh my goodness, man! And there's also Order of Ecclesia. Yes, I think that's it. Which I think was the actual like last 2D Castlevania that the luck is increased by four. Oh, finally a yellow soul. Yeah, look, it's a passive ability. Yeah, yellow soul. Yellow souls are passive. This is useful stuff, like tools and. Uh, yeah, active stuff. Okay. So, I think it's the last game before the creator of the Castlevania series just, like, left, I think, Konami. I think this is Konami. Pretty sure. Uh, but whatever company it was. Um, or Capcom? I'm not sure. I think it's Konami. But, um... I think his name is Koji Igarashi. He goes by Iga. I just I-G-A. Usually, so I'm gonna call him that. So, Mr. Iga, uh, I think not too long after Order of Ecclesia, I think he just he just made the the Kickstarter campaign for Bloodstained, that like the new pseudo Castlevania game, which is it's clearly like a Castlevania game, but it's just not called Castlevania. And I think he's still used Dracula in that game because, you know, Dracula, I think it's just public domain at this point. Like, the company that made the Castlevania games, I don't think they own Dracula in any way, shape, or form. Because, you know, there were movies about Dracula, like, way back when, like, black and white movies from, like, the 1800s and, like, 1900s. Like, way before video games were even a thing, there were Dracula movies. Like, I'm 100% sure of that. I'm not, like, this big film buff, but, you know. Man, like, I hope the dialogues got better in these later games, because holy garbage, man, this is painful. But it's, like, funny painful, at least. Like, they don't take too long. And I understand that they wanted to be, like, very expository about, like, Huh, you're here and you gotta do this? Whoa, what? My dark powers have awakened within me? Nani? Like, it's it's just garbage like that, you know? It's not... It's not like, you know, high art in any way, shape, or form, but... The games are good. The game part of these video games, pretty awesome. Still hold up to this day. Oh, samurai armor. So, I probably shouldn't have bought... Yep, it's better than the copper plate. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna take a quick sip of my coffee. Give me a second. Oh my god. Hmm. <sighs> Delicious. Okay. Oh, Lance, what do you do? Oh, you're slow as hell. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Well, let's go. Okay. Uh, gotta be quick about this for... Oh, God. I think the Minotaur also drops a soul. I'm gonna try killing him, like, a couple times. Because I think the Minotaur drops a soul, which... Oh, my goodness. Don't make me die against this garbage little Minotaur, dude. I think he drops a soul that increases your strength. By a flat amount. I'm not sure. Okay, so I have 430 XP. How much does he give me? 370, so 430, 370. He gives me 50 EXP. Okay, so... <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna quickly speed up. Because I don't want to, like, waste your time looking at me grind a soul. It, it should be fast-forwarding by now. And uh, by the time the fast-forwarding is done, that means I've let, I've either leveled up or I've obtained the Minotaur Soul. Yeah, no luck. It's okay. At least I gotta level up out of it. It's fine. Okay. Moving on. Wait a skeleton. Okay. So I know I'm not finished with this game yet, but I've been... Looking up, like, a new game that I want to play. Because I'm trying to balance it between, like, a game that I already know and have played it to full... Like, to completion. Completion, or at least finished it. Like, a long time ago, at least. And, um... There was this game... That came out around the same time... As... Balan Wonderland, or Wonder World... A, it was called Tori. It, it was an it was an indie game, and you're this little chick, a chick as an actual chick, like baby chicken, like a yellow little fuzzy bird with a tiny beak. And um, it's supposedly pretty good. It's a short game, supposedly, and it's supposedly also way better than Balan Wonderland or Wonder World or whatever it's called. And uh, I'm honestly curious, like how the game actually is, because I've seen gameplay of it. And I bought both games for like a buck each during Steam's last like big sale. Please come over here, sir. I need you to double jump off of your back. There you go. Thank you. And I should be playing that one now, like afterwards, hopefully. Oh my goodness. Yeesh. Please. Okay. You're not dealt with. Oh, the waiter skeleton, of course. A classic. Okay, please don't hurt me too much. Okay. Man, I forgot. I could have bought potions and I didn't. Okay, I've been in this room because there's no items on those corners. So, do I just go right? But I think there's a wall to the right, and I think that's it. Oh, goodness. Okay, sir. You are rude. You're a rude dude. Okay. Okay, so how are my stats looking? Level 11. Okay. It's probably, like, a good amount for this area of the game. Because I haven't, like, been grinding or anything. Except that one part where I accidentally grinded a little bit against the Minotaur. Because I wanted his soul, but that's a lie. I won't get it anytime soon, apparently. Okay. How do I... Man, I hate these guys. Like, tiny hitboxes move too fast. Oh my... Uh, boom, please perish. Thank you. Alright, so... Okay. Hmm. Took a sip of my coffee there. Okay. Save the game. So there's got to be somewhere else I can go. Okay, so... Yes, there is. So I can go to the left. Yeah, I'll go to the left first because it looks like there's a dead end. It looks like I can come in here. Go here and then go down into the right. And there's nothing that like allows me to leave to the right. So I'm just going to go here first or attempt to go there first. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh boy. Please. Like, oh my god, the ghost hit nothing. <laughs> of course. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm pretty much there. Okay, so. Of course there's two of these dudes in here. Why wouldn't there be? Okay. Boom. Yeah, I actually need some MP. Man, I gotta look up, like, new Metroidvanias eventually. I don't want to be like, the Metroidvania channel! But I gotta play more of these games. I really like the... Like, the easy-to-understand gameplay, because, like, combat happens in, like, 2D, right? Like, enemies are in front of you, behind you, above or below you. That's it. And, like, I like how creative these games get with time. Oh, there you go, Skeleton Knight. Strength is increased by four. All right. Yeah, and I think the Minotaur is strength is increased by eight, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember equipping that one when I was a baby Babus. Baby Babus. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, so this is a teleporter, which is pretty good. Because I wanted to purchase potions, and I forgot to. So, allow me to very quickly go talk to Mr. Hammer and get me some potions. Okay, so I got both castle maps. Yeah, I need... Okay, I got four potions and th three mind-ups. Okay. Uh, and I don't think new weapons have been added? No, it's the same stuff. Okay, so... Better be safe than sorry, so I'm gonna buy three potions and three mind-ups. And uh, I'm keeping... Okay. All right, all right. I thought that, like, the first time I pressed OK, I bought both at the same time, but apparently not. So what's the maximum amount? I can keep nine. Okay. All right. Uh, you know what? I will have nine of these just to be safe, because I'm not the best gamer boy in the world. I just, uh, I like video games and I like making video games, but I'm not a professional. But I understand that uh, players get cocky and, um, you know, and karma is uh, sometimes a big B word. So I'm going to get nine of those before I get served and owned by like a bunch of enemies. How much do potions fill me for? So a hundred. So I got essentially 900 HP in the pocket. 20% of my MP. Oh, it's percentage-wise. Okay, I prefer these percentage-wise items in this game. That's pretty good. A melon of the finest quality. Yeah, these probably give me some HP as well. But not as much. Okay, please, madam, you were being rude. You're giving me some sass, which I'm not appreciating. Thank you very much. Okay. So, now... All right, this was a teleporter, and I want to go here, this area, this undergroundish area. I think that's underground. Like, it looks undergroundish. Oh, I got the soul of that guy. Khan is increased by eight. Okay, so Khan, I think, is just constitution, which implies defense. And I think with the potions that I've bought and general armor that I have, I think I'm good. So I'm not going to be equipping that one, at least just yet. I hope I, that, I, I, that I won't need those. Oh my goodness, I'm being very lucky. Jumping while taking damage restores health. So like if I'm mid-air and I get knocked around, I just get health back? That's it? That's... That is a strange soul to have. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, but I already have this. Okay, yeah, it wasn't on this video game, but I, I'm remembering something from the depths of my young boy memory. Um, I don't think it has any effect in this game. No, yeah, it's still the same power. So, in Dawn of Sorrow, the sequel, the more that you have of the same soul, the more powerful it is. And you can hold up to nine copies of each soul. 
So if you have nine copies of the Ghost Dancer, I think you get plus nine luck or something like that. I think that's it. But not in this game. This game, everything is like very flat stats. And I, I think it's the first game to actually do this sort of system where each enemy is, is a weapon. And like coming up for effects for every single different enemy must have been at least a nightmare to come up with. But you know, they probably had a big team anyway, so whatever. But at the same time, oh my goodness, that's a lot of numbers and a lot of garbage to balance. And you know, but it's fine. Like, it's a game where you mostly just use your standard attack. It's not like you don't even have like a three hit combo or something. It's like classical, like uh, like a Zelda game. You have the one sword swipe on the top down Zelda games, right? And I think in pretty much every single Castlevania, like weapons are just like one hit, one hit, one hit, and that's it. It's not bad. It's just like it works, you know, because you want it to be fast, snappy, straight to the point, deal damage be able to leave, like, the situation if you need to, like, feel safe during combat, you know? And that's what the enemy souls are for. They're, they're here to be more experimental and stuff. As you're doing your little... your little stabby stabs, you can, like, throw homing projectiles, throw spears. I know there's one where you just summon this giant full-screen-sized axe that just spins around you, and it's ridiculous, but it spends, like, a bazillion MP and you run out of MP pretty fast. Okay, ba boom. Okay, so in that corner, that was 500 bucks, which I'll probably need in the future for some better piece of equipment. Okay, I don't want to get killed by literally the first enemy in the game that shows up in the intro, so I'm not gonna get hit by that spear. Okay, you wooden golem. I forgot what you used to do. Because every single enemy in this game has a soul that you can obtain and equip. Every single enemy has one soul within them, and it's either red or blue or yellow. Every single enemy. Which is amazing, like, the fact that they really went for it. It's a shame that it's just very, very luck-based. Like, there could be a threshold in the game like, like, this is a, like, if I had done this, I would have done it this way kind of situation. I would have, like, put in a threshold, like, you know how the enemy name shows on the bottom right as you stab them or kill them or whatever? I would have put, like, a threshold with, like, a percentage there. Like, a definitely visible percentage that would increase the more you kill that enemy. And uh, it would be enemy-dependent, each of these percentages. And that's not a lot of thing to keep... That, that's not, like, a lot of stuff to keep in RAM, honestly. It's not. Because you would just, like, preload the variables for those enemies in that map at that moment. And then you'd know how long do you have before you actually get the enemy. The enemy soul, I mean. Alright, safe point. So this should be the bad guy. Uh, yes it is, okay. How do I... Oh. Excuse me while I stab your ankles, sir. Okay, I got... I got bonked. My apologies for the bonkage that I just received. Okay. Oh my god. Please. I love that, like, my strategy for, like, all of these early game bosses is just stab their ankles or feet. I mean, it works, truth be told, like... It's been working so far. <laughs> and Skeleton Blaze, Slide but Yeah, there you go. Remember that book that I couldn't access earlier? Yeah, and I can get it by just going swoosh, swoosh. And I think... Oh, my... Oh! Uh, can I... Sir? Tsuchinoko. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen that guy, even. Oh, because he just burrows underground. Do I just have, like, a random chance that the dude actually pops out of the floor? Do I have to get into the room, like, backwards or something? No, I don't know. I actually don't know. 
but I know, at least the lore of those things, they're like fat snakes. And there's like varying lore for these things. I've heard, and I'm not sure if I'm being accurate right now, that Tsuchinokos are like these fat like yokai, which is like Japanese folklore demons, pretty much. And they're supposedly like these untrustworthy snakes, like they lie a lot, supposedly, and they're like alcoholic, you know, like they're, they're like raging alcoholics. They lie to you. And I think that's it. Like they're just lying little fat snakes, little fat chubby snakes. And I think that's all. All right. So you, oh, I can now get this thing. All right. Rev it up. Oh, that's actually good. What am I, level 12, 13 now? 14! Pretty good! Pretty good, not bad. Okay, so I've been to the right. So, I got a few more places that I need to check out. So, I have this place, which I think I need to use the skeleton blaze thing that I just got. I have this place. There's also this situation over here. This one, I'm not sure, but there's at least one, two, three, four places I can definitely go. This one is the underwater place that I cannot reach because I need the walk on water thing to jump here. And this one, I have to swim underwater with another ability that I get later in the game. Damn. Oh my goodness. I don't even... Man. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm just going to... I'm going to gush a little bit. I'm proud that I still remember all of these things from like 15 years ago, like while going through an abusive relationship with a girl that, oh my god, yeesh. Because I think I said last episode, like last time I finished this game, I was around 15 or 16, and I was dating this girl who was a compulsive liar. She was very mean, and uh, I was a coward back then, truth be told. I didn't have like half the courage I have, on, I have nowadays. She like lied to everybody that she could like talk to spirits and stuff. Man, like looking back back at it, <laughs> you know, in hindsight, probably a pretty bad decision. But before like we actually got into the relationship, she uh, she was pretty nice. But only after dating, she started being like very manipulative, trying to turn everyone against each other. Oh my goodness, twenty. It's been only 23 minutes this episode, okay. Pretty good. I can still go for a little longer. 23 minutes on the recording thing. I don't know if the actual episode's gonna be 23 minutes or like 22 or 20 even, or even less, who knows. Okay, so this, all right, man. And like going through that really garbage situation and remembering like this, like, Details from this very old game that I was playing back then. I'm kind of proud, you know? Kind of proud. Because I don't think I'll need a guide for this one. There's probably like some secrets and stuff that I will not get. I'm pretty sure there's some secret stuff I will not get. I do remember something that I had to figure out on my own because like I... I think I mentioned either in this episode or the previous one. I had no internet. Okay. Sir? Oh! Oh, so he just sends me back. Okay. So, there's this secret in this game where you unlock, like, a second little... Not like a completely new, different castle. It, it's not like a huge, huge addition, but there's this secret area in the game where you can go into after you collect those three books, and each of those books has a clue. I don't remember what the clues are, but eventually, I'm sure I'm going to jog my own memory. Okay, so I saved the game, and there's a boss room here, and I cannot go left because there's a rabbit that teleports me back, so I have to go to the boss room. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to do my best. Am I underleveled? Probably not. I'm probably like level 14, 15 right now. Yeah, 14. All right, the head huntress. She's got three heads. Three heads? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so she's got, like, the lady head right now, and then she's gonna get the old man head, and then the lizard head. Oh my god, I'm getting... 
Man, I can't believe that touching a woman's dress hurt me. Can I... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to do the classic. Oh my god, lady, perish. Mada mada. <laughs> mada mada. Okay, let's go. Man. At least, like, whoever voiced this guy, at least, uh, he's got a good voice. I wish that, like, okay, whoa oh boy. I wish he could, like, taunt me mid-battle, but, you know, Game Boy Advance game, tiny cartridge sized. There can't be a lot of voice samples and stuff, because you gotta have space for the other aspects of the video game, right? But I wish that, like, the dude would taunt you more during battle, like, call you, like, names and stuff in Japanese. Okay. Oh, yeah, you vomit things. Oh, right. Ma'am, that is not cool. Stab a lizard. Please, ma'am. Oh, poisoned! What does it do? I don't know what the poison does. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, get some health back and, uh, anti-venom, thank you. I should buy some anti-venom at Hammer's shop if he even sells those. I'm not sure if he does. Stab. Okay, gotcha. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, the headhuntress soul. Or head headhunter? Yeah, headhunter. Collect souls to increase strength. Okay, so I remember it's per different soul that you have and not per copy of each soul. So the more different souls you collect, the more stats this gives you. And it's supposedly pretty strong. Supposedly. It increases every single stat in except luck, I think. Yeah, exactly. It, it's currently decreasing my attack and strength because, like, the, um, what's it called? The Skeleton Knight just gives a bunch of strength. Okay, so I'm going to do like this. Yeah, the Skeleton Knight just gives me, like, four strength, but the Headhunter gives me points on everything. And I gotta just keep equipping... Sorry, I gotta keep discovering and slaying foes to get new souls. To increase the Headhunter soul power. All right. I think that's enough for an episode. I killed like two bosses, I think. Got to two new areas, because I finished this little area over here, the dancing hall, and now I'm up here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it for now. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>